And by the way, folks, the only in and out story that we should be talking about right now is Joe Biden getting in office and getting him the hell out of office. Welcome to the Bald Brad Show. Our story today is dealing with the government going after and targeting businesses all across the United States for not complying with the vaccination mandates. Now, the government, the leftists, the Democrats are always going after somebody. They're always targeting somebody to take and steal from them. Just yesterday, we covered them going after the billionaires, the ultra wealthy, the 1%, as Bernie Sanders would say, and taxing their unrealized capital gains. Well, who are they targeting now? They are targeting in and out on the West Coast. Why? Because in and out will not check customers' vaccination status before serving them. This one comes from our friends over at the Daily Wire. If you're not already a member, please go over and become a subscriber today and also hit that like and subscribe button. It helps us grow here at the Bald Brad Show, so your help would be greatly appreciated. And with that being said, they titled this one, Another In-N-Out Burger Location Closed for Bucking Vax Mandate Other Locations Targeted. The article starts off by saying, standing by the company's stance to reject discrimination against their patrons, meaning their own clientele, their customers, another California In-N-Out Burger location was closed down for refusing to get this, check customers' vaccination statuses, meaning their vaccination cards, before serving them food. What's basically happening here is mind-blowing. The government is actively incentivizing In-N-Out and other businesses across the United States to discriminate against their own customers and clientele. In-N-Out saying, look, I'm not going to discriminate against anybody. I'm going to serve them food because they're my customers. They're asking for something and I shall give them. But what the government's doing is they're saying, look, we want you to actively discriminate between the vax and unvax. And depending on that outcome, we want you to not serve them food or serve them food. And if you don't comply with that, what are we going to do? We're going to shut your ass down. Does nobody else see this as being mind blowing? Does nobody else see this as just a government overreach once again? I mean, how often are we talking about the government encroaching on our individual lives and also in the private sector like in and out here? This is crazy, folks. And I'm of the firm belief, by the way, I think businesses should be allowed to discriminate. I don't think you should, but I think they should have the right to give service to whomever they damn please and whomever they don't want to. They should have that right, but the government is constantly trying to take from us. They're tr constantly trying to encroach into our, into our lives. They're trying to take our liberties and our freedoms and constantly get rid of that free market. This is nuts. Well, it says here, the Pleasant Hill in and out location received four citations in recent weeks and fines totaling $1,750, all for the same health order violation before today's actions. Well, who's giving these violations, right? Who's giving this whole citation thing out to all these people? It's the Contra Costa Environmental Health, and they had this to say to the Hill. They said they suspended the permit because the business was not in compliance with all the applicable state and local health and safety regulations. Can you imagine in California how many regulations there are, how many laws are on the books that this freaking leftist state puts on these private companies that they have to sit there and regulate and how expensive this is to run? And so pose an immediate health hazard to the public. Yes, yes, because they weren't checking vaccination statuses outside before letting people come in or offering them their service. They're posing a health hazard to the public. Unbelievable. Two other in and out restaurants in the area are also being targeted by the same health organization, the Contra Costa Environmental Health, collecting fines and warnings for refusing to check patrons' JAP status. Well, last week, the Daily Wire reported that in and outs only San Francisco location was closed for violating another dubious health order. And you know, it's not a shock that this is happening in San Francisco, or at least this location that was just described here by the Daily Wire last week, because you know, San Francisco is constantly just throwing in more mandates, more orders, more shutdowns because they love the power over there because there are a bunch of leftists up there. The restaurants are now only allowed to open for outdoor dining and takeout while ins inside dining remains closed. Following the San Francisco closure, In-N-Out Burger's chief legal and business officer, Arnie Weinsinger, and hopefully I'm pronouncing his last name correctly, slammed such health orders as discriminatory, underscoring that the company headed by 39-year-old Lindsay Snyder refuses to become the vaccination police for any government. And he's hitting the nail right on, is they are not in the job of sitting there checking vaccination statuses, giving you a freaking pat down before you walk into their business. They want to give you a damn burger because you asked for it and they want to exchange that transaction for money. So let them do it. 
this whole government thing, vaccinations or not, we need to move on with our lives here. Those that wanted to get the vaccination got it. Those that didn't, didn't. Who gives a damn? Let's move on here. Open everything back up. Allow people to freaking conduct their business the way they see fit without the damn government encroaching on their lives. And after the Pleasant Hill location shut down, the company's sending out the same response. Well, I like this. We won't be the vaccination police and we won't discriminate. Good on them. Good on them. And we all know, we all know that in and out tends to lean more conservative. Now, if you look at their projections as far as over the years, the recordings on, on, or the reporting on who they're giving money to, they give money to both parties. Every business pretty much does that. And it's a wise thing to do because you're appeasing both parties there, meaning you're appeasing your customer base. But naturally they're a private company, they're a private entity, and usually private entities tend to lean more conservative behind the scenes. That's just coming from more of an accounting standpoint. There's very few businesses that I know that are private that I've done accounting for that lean leftist. Okay. It's usually the big businesses like Google, Facebook, uh, all those companies like that that tend to go left because they can afford certain costs and regulations and all this other stuff. Well, another quote here says, our store properly and clearly posted signage to communicate local vaccination requirements. Well, there was uh, another statement here saying, after closing our restaurant, local regulators informed us that our restaurant associates must, must actively intervene by demanding proof of vaccination and photo identification for every customer, then act as enforcement personnel by barring entry for any customer without the proper documentation. That's actively discriminating against people, which the government says is wrong. The leftists say are wrong. The Democrats say are wrong and which I think morally is wrong as well. But that is what's going on here. The government's incentivizing this damn thing. I know I'm repeating myself, but this is batshit crazy. Then they don't see it. They don't see that 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 standard that they're creating here. <laughs> well, welcome to Democrat ran America, folks. We refuse to become the vaccination police for any government. Adding that the health department requirements are unreasonable, invasive, and unsafe. Absolutely correct. We fiercely disagree with any government dictate that forces a private company to discriminate against customers who choose to patronize their business. The statement continued. There is a clear governmental overreach and intrusive, improper, and offensive. As highlighted by the Daily Wire, Schneider, serving as CEO of the restaurant chain, has been open for uh, her Christian beliefs. Meaning, that if you look on the kind of the bottom of their cups or uh, on the bottom of their uh, French fry, I don't know what you call it, packet, not a packet, but tray, uh, they have uh, Christian uh, NIV Bible verses under there. So they're a very big Christian company. They've been targeted for that by the left. Same with like Chick fil A, which you are all, I'm sure, very aware, aware of. So during a rare interview in 2019 with the Christian Post, Schneider talked about her faith and how it's incorporated into the company, first by her family and now by her. I've been the one to hurt and been hurt, Schneider said, 39 revealed in a Christian Post in 2019. She described a past marriage as abusive and she's just basically passing down these certain traditions that her family held through the business that was previously ran by her family. Keeping the tradition with past family owners of the In-N-Out Burger, Schneider John 316 on the bottom of the company soft drinks, which I talked about. I didn't remember the exact verse, but I believe there's Proverbs. I think there's a Proverbs verse on the bottom of their French fry tray that they give you when they when they sell you that product. But there you go, folks. in and out is just the latest big company here on the West Coast to be targeted by the government to tell them to actively discriminate against their customer clientele. And if they don't do so, if they don't sit there and properly go by the regulations that were put in place by these leftists, by the Democrats that are running this country based locality, state, as well as national, then they're going to shut you down. This is wrong. It's disgusting. And it's an overreach. And it's an abuse of power by our government to sit there and do this to people like this young lady here running in and out. In and out is a national treasure. It's one of the best burgers out there. Bar none. Better than Shake Shack, better than Five Guys, better than any out any burger location out there. And by the way, folks, the only in and out story that we should be talking about right now is Joe Biden getting in office and getting him the hell out of office. With that being said, thank you so much for watching The Bald Brad Show, and I will see you a little bit later here on The Bald Brad Show.